let's take a look at the calendar views for Fantastical on the Mac. In general, the interface for the main view of Fantastical is the sidebar with this infinite list of scrolling events, which is just a great way to find events, and then the calendar on the right. In the upper right corner, you've got a search bar so you can search for something. And there you can see I have all of my podcast related events showing up, not only in the future, but also in the past. Another nice touch they've added is where there's weather available, they'll provide weather for these future events. And then going back over to the left, you'll note that as you scroll through this list, the main view will match where you're scrolling. For instance, I just went into February, so now it's showing me February in this month view. If I keep going down, like here's May, then I've got May showing in the calendar as well. If I wanna to get to today, I can just tap on the today button to get back to today. Looking through these views, you've got day, week, month, and year. I particularly like the way Fantastical handles the year view. It does a sort of heat mapping where the days get progressively darker with the background color depending on the number of events you have scheduled. If someone calls you and says, hey, are you available in August? By going to the year view, you can get a good idea of when is good and when is not good to do that. From there, you can tap on specific days and Fantastic Cal will jump directly to that date and even start a new entry for an event. I'm gonna hit the escape key to cancel that. Moving next to the month view, one of the nice touches is the way the months just tie into one another. Like here we are with the end of July, ending on the 31st and August 1st just starts like that. Everything is tied together, so you've got a nice scrolling month view all the way down. In the week view, you've got the next week laid out for you. I'm gonna hit command comma to open the preferences, and you can customize the week view to your preference. Because I'm such a big fan of this week view, this is one I pay particular attention to. For instance, I have it showing that the week starts on today or the selected day, but you could also have it just start on Sunday. So the week view shows the days of the week exactly the same place every time you use it. You've also got the ability to go to different amounts of days. I'm gonna make this 14 days. This way I can see the next two weeks on my calendar. One of the tricks I do with Fantastic is I make this full screen. So I'm gonna hit Control Command F which is the keyboard shortcut for full screen. I could have also done that by the way, just by with the mouse by clicking on that button. And I just keep that as a separate screen on my Mac. All day I can slide over to it and see the next 14 days as they block out. If you wanna get really fancy, you can remove the sidebar and have just the next two weeks in block schedule. I'll go ahead and back out of full screen mode again and I will bring the sidebar back and go back to seven days since I'm in this smaller view. And then finally, you've got the day view where you've got the detailed view of today with details about any particular event on the right pane. You'll note in this screen, you also get the weather, which is covered in a separate video. You also get the time zone support for other time zones, which is also covered in a separate video. And one last point about this scrolling view this shows your events and any reminders that have due dates. Reminders without due dates do not show up on this list, but if you click on the little reminder checkbox here, you can get a list of all of your tasks in lieu of your upcoming events. I don't have any in here right now, but there's a separate video on creating and managing reminders where I explain that all for you. I'm gonna tap the button again to bring back my events. Giving the user good information and also a pleasant beautiful user interface is not easy, but they pulled it off here. As you can see from this video, there's a lot of customization available to you. Take a few minutes, set this up the way you want it, so Fantastical can work even harder for you.